Z-Space was so great because we've worked with computers and then we've seen movies in 3D, but we've never got to really interact in 3D, so it's the first time you can really, you're almost a part of the actual machine. Our goal here in Plainview was to put these machines in front of as many students as possible within this one year. So when we found out about it, we all like trampled each other to get towards the door <laughs> so you can like get on the computer first. Put on our 3D glasses, we were just all like, wow, and we just started seeing what we can create. And the lesson planning that went behind this, it really brings it to life. I can have kids engaged. Our fifth grade teachers during professional development from ZSpace were able to collect and put together a folder with all the lab experiences that they wanted to share. So now they have everything ready to rock and roll when they're in there with the students. You can get a lot more done in your 42 minute period. Setting up some of these labs would be impossible in those kind of time frames. But you can walk into ZSpace and have the thing saved for the students all ready to go. Our fifth graders are working with the application called Newton's Park, and that's the same application that the AP Physics students used was Newton's Park. So it's interesting to see how it's being used at a high school AP level and in a fifth grade level. Sixth grade is using Franklin's Lab. Then they're going to go back into the tech shops and actually design their own electricity boards. Then they're going to go back to ZSpace and create these electricity boards that we would never be able to afford or be able to let them do for safety reasons. What I love about this is the collaborative approach in the sense that I have two students, one with a stylus and the other student with the glasses on being a part of that lesson and they need to work together to problem solve. You can see what works and what doesn't work. Everyone's learning together. Those inquiry skills I think are second to none with a device like this.